a really sort of realistic my university experience type video i know that a lot of people stress and panic about going to university it's around this time people are finishing school people are finishing college and they'll be getting ready to think about you know the next steps what they're gonna go on to do so, yeah let's get into it i went to college and i did level three animal management i know a lot of people would see it as oh it's only college you could have gone to sixth form and science and blah 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 but I, I really enjoyed college i mean it was really small at the time you sort of knew everyone everyone was friends i, I really enjoyed it so as i say um i came out of there with three a stars or distinction stars um the universe the university the college was really good in terms of helping us out, helping us write our personal statements, um, helping us get experience if we needed it. So they were, they were really good. So when I finished college, that same year I went to university. Now, I originally applied for veterinary nursing. I did get into three, it was either three or four out of the five university choices as you only have um, a maximum number of five choices to use on UCAS. Many if not all of the courses involve you doing um, an interview and then sort of like presentation as to why you want to do that course. One of the universities I went to to do my presentation basically stated that I wanted to do this course and then go on to do vet medicine. Someone actually pulled me over at the end and basically said look this is not what you should be doing, you should be doing this course, blah blah blah. I ended up doing a course called Bio Veterinary Science. So I started um, September, I say the month because a lot of universities a lot of universities have different starting months depending on the course so like if you were to do medicine i think you start in january I started this class in 2014, September. obviously with it being down south parents had to drive me down um take everything the car was packed at the end of the day you're going to be living there by yourself you're going to be living independently so you need to make sure that you have got all the right gear all the right equipment first year it's kind of more getting to know people i mean you are choosing so you have compulsory lectures which you have to go to and then you have lectures or classes whatever you'd call it um in which you choose if you want to do them as extra credits or if you want to swap them for something else first two two to four weeks depending on which university you go to is you deciding which you know courses and stuff you want to do like with my course depending on which sort of lectures and stuff you chose that would open up different pathways um at the end of your degree for different subjects compared to what someone else may have chosen if that makes sense the first week is known as freshers week when i started i was 200 miles away from home i was by myself i was very homesick i didn't do well with being away from home anyway before that i didn't do freshers week if i'm going to be honest i didn't do it i, I really struggled to speak to people i struggled to get involved in stuff i was kind of like if you could say it like an outsider um i was very to myself and I'd you know I'd stay in my room that's how I was as a person I, I honestly I could not speak to people I didn't have the confidence to do anything I didn't want to get involved in anything if in all honesty I just wanted to go home <laughs> I don't really think it was until maybe the second week the actual starting week that I managed to finally speak to you know people who lived in the same block as me I cannot for the life of me tell you how I started any sort of conversation I mean I probably wasn't the one that started the conversation I'll, I'll tell you that if you are like me and you know you do struggle you struggle with confidence you struggle with speaking to people you get really anxious um, you know you you're constantly on edge about what people think about you it is normal it is a it is a normal feeling to have Um, so I'm not gonna sit here and say that Oh, you'll get over it, it's fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Because in your first year of university, it's not. It's not. I know a lot of people will be like, oh, you have such a good time, you meet loads of new friends and all this, but, you know, especially if you're moving away, you're moving far away, you're by yourself, you don't know anyone, you know, you're from other side at other side of country. So you speak completely different to people. I mean, I got told a lot that I sounded thick because of my accent. 
it did get to me a few times but then I just thought well people are from different parts you know everyone sounds different everyone's their own person and um, so it didn't end up affecting me. In regards to my assignments and my exams and stuff in the first year I was really focused I was really focused and if we got an assignment given I would start it straight away um, but I mean everyone is different everyone is different everyone learns and everyone writes at different paces and you know different ways and different styles so I'm not going to sit here and say yeah start your work as soon as you get it. But to me even if you get you know one paragraph done maybe it's just your introduction you can you can chill out you can you know you can write your introduction and then enjoy yourself and you know praise yourself that you you've started um because i find that the hardest part of writing an assignment is the first word once you start that first word you can carry on writing and writing and writing honestly it is literally just starting it once you've started it you're fine so like I say, if if you are like me and you want to get stuff sort of done and out of the way, maybe even just start planning when you get the assignment brief. Just start planning what you're going to write, start planning what needs to go in it. And then from there you can take it as it is. Social clubs, anything from quiz night and then sort of sporty clubs. So they had cheerleading, football, rugby, dance. They had quite a few. We joined cheerleading together we did cheerleading we didn't do it for that long though they ended up sort of ordering you know outfits what we had to wear and that was like the line the line was drawn for me i was like i'm not wearing that i am not wearing that pressures <laughs> is counted as you know a big social event this is coming from someone who didn't get involved and did struggle and you know Looking back, I do wish I do wish I would have taken part in stuff, and I do wish I would have got involved in stuff and spoken to people more and been more outspoken. University don't last forever. As much as it stressed me out, and some days I had very very bad down days. Some days I had really good days. You know, I, I really enjoyed it. I would just say get involved. Just get involved in social events. Get involved in freshers. Speak to people. Everyone's in the same boat, um, you know, everyone's moved away from home. Maybe some people prefer being away from home more than others. In the sense of making new friends and meeting new people and getting involved in stuff that you may not have ever got involved in before. Everyone's in the same boat. So try to see it that way. So to me, motivation is different with everyone. Everyone is different. Having motivation meant that myself and my surroundings were you know positive and i didn't have any money worries or worries about more work that i may have had so to me that that was motivation motivation also comes with the course it also comes with if you're enjoying the course if you're enjoying the work if you're enjoying what you're learning because if you're not enjoying what you're learning if you're not enjoying the course you're not going to be motivated to do it. You you know you're not going to want to go to classes or lectures. You're not going to be interested, and I do think that that's a very important part. So I got to my second year um, after being you know quite proud of myself for my first year. In my second year, sort of halfway through, that's when I started to sort of have my downfall, and I started to really regret the university choice and regret the course and regret being there um i just wanted to go home so you know back to the previous sort of clip i lost all motivation i lost interest in the course i lost interest in lectures it did it did have a big impact on my work it had a big big impact on my overall grade which then had an impact on me as a person because I felt like I was you know I felt like I was failing I felt like I wasn't doing good enough I felt like I was letting everyone down um, including myself but I wasn't I wasn't happy and I'm not gonna sit here and say that I was this sort of carried on to my third year I had loads of talks about wanting to leave wanting to quit you know wanting to give up but every time i had these talks i tried to tell myself i was like you can't quit you can't give up you know you're nearly there halfway through what's the point in leaving and you know but everyone's everyone's different some people just 
get to that point where they're like yeah i want to leave in my honest opinion with my honest advice don't leave don't quit it at the end of the day you're where someone else may have really really wanted to be you know you should feel very proud and lucky that you were even there in the first place if you're not getting you know if you're not getting 60 70 percent like someone else is getting don't worry about it like, everyone's everyone's different everyone writes different you know not everyone's the same not everyone's going to get the same grades it doesn't mean you're any less of a person it doesn't mean you're any less bright or intelligent in my third year um as i say my motivation was still the same as my second year i couldn't be bothered um you know by this point i had decided that veterinary medicine wasn't for me just because of the the course and how long it took you know i still think it's an amazing amazing job and i still want to work with animals so whether it's veterinary nursing or you know zoology or animal behavior something like that i still want to work with animals i just think that the being away from home for me and you know the stress of having to make new friends all that that's what sort of really demotivated me basically i want to even get through university and come out of the end with that piece of paper telling them that they have got a degree in something that they've studied for for two three four years is still a massive accomplishment i'm not gonna you know sometimes i do sit and think oh, i wasted my time you know, I shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have done that course, I should have done something else. But then other times I think at least I had the opportunity to do it, at least I had the experience. Um, and I do really miss university now. I miss, I miss the university life, I miss sort of having my own independence and I miss having those friends. You know, you, you lived together as well so you were constantly with each other. Yeah, it did cause arguments sometimes. A lot of people say, oh, you make friends for life at university. I wouldn't say that's true. Two of the people from university I maybe speak to every now and then, but that is it. You know, it's not the same. It's not the same for everyone. I didn't go out on nights out until my last month of university. Nights out never interested me. It never... It was never something I came across and thought, I'd really love to do that. I'd really love to go out drinking. So it wasn't until my last month that I finally experienced that that side of university life. Um, I did enjoy it, you know, really enjoyed it. But I do wish I had have sort of done that side proper, if that's, you know, if that makes sense. I wish I'd have experienced that a lot sooner, a lot earlier into starting. <coughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't make it too chatty and long. Um, I just wanted to sort of have a small, well I say small, it could be quite big, um, chat about my university experience because I feel like a lot of people that sort of relate to my type of personality would really relate to this video. I see a lot of people saying, oh, it's amazing, you know, it's an amazing time and blah 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 and i wanted to be realistic about it i don't want to put anyone off going because like i say i do incredibly miss university i i miss i miss doing assignment work yeah i miss doing assignment work but my mum's now at university so i do enjoy helping her with her assignments i do i, uh, I enjoy writing and i enjoy you know, I enjoy being able to give other people sort of pointers and hints and tips and stuff because I feel like through doing that I have actually learnt something. <laughs> I mean, I can do another video if this gets sort of like a decent response on sort of work life um, during and after university because I think that would be a sort of own video. I hope you enjoyed this video and i apologize if i bored you all i did try to get detail in but yeah so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you for the next video bye <laughs>